Silk, the queen of textiles, is synonymous with softness, sophistication, and grandeur. It's believed that silk was first discovered by Empress Liuzhu of China, who found a cocoon in her teacup. Today, we will show you the incredible process of making silk. Producing silk is a lengthy and complex process. The first step is sericulture, or the life cycle of silkworm. Stage 1. Eggs are hatched during spring, and female bombix mori, the domestic silk moth, lays more than 350 eggs at a time. This procedure happens once in every year. Stage 2. When the egg cracks, a hairy silkworm arises. They consume a large amount of mulberry leaves for around 30 days. Stage 3. At this stage, the silkworm spins a protective cocoon around themselves, the size of a small cotton ball, made of a single silk thread. Stage 4. After the cocoon formation, the pupa inside goes on a growing process and is in a motionless state. To unwind the silk thread, the pupa is killed by plunging the cocoon into boiling water. This may seem cruel, but if the pupa is not killed, they chew their way out of their cocoon, impacting the material quality and thread length. Over 2,000 silkworms are killed to produce one pound of silk. What do you think? Silk vegan or not? Stage 5. Moth In this stage, the pupa changes into an adult moth. The female moth lays eggs after mating and cycle begins again. 2. Thread Extraction Once cocoons are placed in the boiling, it dissolves the gum and each thread is then carefully reeled from the cocoon in individual long threads, which are then wound on a reel. 3. Dyeing Acid dyes are the best and most reliable choice for dyeing silk. The dye is mixed in a tub filled with hot water, and the silk is put into the tub. Water is heated to 185 degrees Fahrenheit, and citric acid or white vinegar is added to the mixture. Once the dye is absorbed, fabric is removed from the tub and rinsed. Citric acid or vinegar creates a chemical bond with the fiber that produces a vibrant, permanent color on your fabric. 4. Spinning the process of spinning essentially unwinds the dyed fibers into a bobbin so that they lay flat ready for the weaving process. This can be done with a traditional spinning wheel, but it can be done much faster with an industrial spinning machine. 5. Weaving Weaving is the final piece that makes silk fabric from fiber. Generally, weaving involves interlacing two sets of threads so that they lock around each other and create a strong, uniform piece of fabric. The threads will be woven at right angles to each other, and the two different angles are called a warp and a weft. The warp will run up and down the fabric while the weft runs across it. Traditionally, silk is woven on wooden hand looms. Trust me, it's no fun. It requires both of your arms and legs to work simultaneously and takes an entire day to weave five meters of fabric. With power looms, weaving can be much faster. We would like to dedicate this video to all of the hard-working silk workers and weavers around the world Leave a comment if you agree with us.